Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Philantopone, and I'm back with another brand new VR game here called Gadgeteer. Now, this game, the first thing that jumped out at me when I saw the, a trailer for this game was the board game Mousetrap. Y'all remember that, where you make gadgets to lead a ball, like, to an end zone? I don't even remember really the point of that game, but I remember the gadget part of it was awesome. But there are so many more things you could do with a scenario like that in VR, like spawn multiple gadgets in one hand, and you'll see. Let's do the tutorial real quick because things are so intuitive that I just got to show it off. We're going to start by it teaches you how to do the dominoes. Very simple, straightforward. You just set them up like that. You press play and they go. Next one, open library with the trigger button. You get more dominoes that way. There you go. So look at all those things there are in this library. That's crazy. Uh, one more. Play. There we go. Next. Hold to eject tool. Now this is cool, you get multiple tools. Right now I'm on the grab tool. You hold it and you equip the clone tool now. So this saves the headache of having to open the menu each time to put a new domino down. You just hold it, hold it, hold it, and you clone. You just clone them and hit play. Next, hold eject tool. Now this is the delete tool. It wants me to delete this bucket. Just like that. Now the dominoes are not obstructed. Next, another bucket to delete, but it wants me to get the undo tool now. Right there, undo, so we can bring the bucket back so that the ball can go down. And knock those ones down, just like that. Very, uh, very good, just quick and easy tutorial to grasp all the features that this game offers. Uh, what are we doing now? Oh, freeze mode, that's right. So we're in freeze mode. That allows us to place objects and they will freeze in the air just like this. And then you hit play just like that. And that's the tutorial. Very simple, very easy. You move around by holding the grip button and just dragging. Uh, so I personally, so there's a sandbox mode. Now, I don't think that'd be good to do a video for because it's hard to try and be super creative like while I'm recording a video that's just me uh, you know I'm not a very creative person in real life and definitely not on camera so we're gonna do the puzzle mode which I've done two levels for already this was the first level you go from one down to there the finish line so we can see what I did just like that it was very easy then we go from two all the way up here look at that we got to go up to there and here's what I did for that just like that. You gotta use these tall dominoes to get up there. Another tall one right there to get up there. You hit play. Just like that. So that's where I left off. Now I get to think on camera with stuff I haven't done before. Okay, so it gives me four dominoes to start off with. We're going up there. So let's see what it gives me to work with. Okay, we got 15 regular sized dominoes. Oh, those are like the little board things. So I guess we're gonna start with uh, regular ones. And then, so how are we going across? That's the question. Can two big ones stack on top of each other? You know what, let me clone that. Can we do that? Oh, we can. Will that work though? I hope so. Oh, we can clone here as well. Definitely the clone tool is absolutely crucial. For saving time at least so we can also test part way through like will it work uh oh that doesn't look like it'll work okay i think that might work right here if we put one on the very edge i know i should be cloning but let's try that oh yeah we're good there so we're gonna keep going let's get the clone tool out how many more do i have okay 10 more regular dominoes i'm gonna space those out as much as possible, undo. Five left, all right. Now we can do another big one. Oh, sweet, it lets me grab with a clone tool. Let's check that out. Yes. Can this make it though? Can it knock down another one? Right there's the question. I love how you could just quickly test it out like over and over again with a click of a button. I think we're good. I got four more of these. There it is, I hope. Here we go. Let's do it the official way with the button. All 
right, they're getting tricky rather quickly. So now we got to go from four to, oh, do we have to click it first? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it gives me one to start with. And we got to go down here. So now we're going down. Let's see what they give us to work with. Okay, the basics, some basic uh, dominoes, just like before. Uh, the question, which way do we want to go? Oh, maybe we want to do a big one right there. Get out the delete tool, erase that. I guess that'll work, the clone tool to grab. And what'll that do? Uh, I'm not sure I was very happy with that. I'm just not sure. I don't know what it's gonna... What's that do? Nope, nope. Go back a bit. Oh yeah, I can live with that. Uh, oh, we only get one more big one now. So wait, right about there. No, oh, I need another, I need another small one to fill in the gap. I don't think that's gonna do much. Or it will, yes. Okay, so now small, I hope this, uh, Look at that, I'm not even having to use any of these in the last two and it's giving them to me, so maybe I'm making this harder than it needs to be. Let's go, play. Oh, that was close. Okay, we don't need that one. We don't need that one, I don't think. Do you get like a bonus score for having seven left? of the regular dominoes? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think there's points. Uh, what do we got here? Ooh, there's like walls that are moving. Have moving paint on them. Oh, okay. It's like a door. This one doesn't look... Well... So we can clone, clone, clone... No. What? That door won't open. Oh, it's this. They have to, it, has to, it has to hit the thing that isn't doesn't have moving paint on it. I see what they're trying to do to me. Yeah, that's the only thing that I'm tempted to always want to adjust. And to do that, I have to go to another tool. So that's the only thing that's a little bit kind of tedious. I want to perfect my aligning. Let's try that. Yes. Looking good, looking good. Uh, where's, oh, now it goes up top. Ooh, this is gonna be, let's try that. Oh, it worked. Okay. Oh wow, now we gotta go up here. So maybe turn maybe two big ones right here. Look at that masterpiece. Oh, he didn't even need another one. He's done. Uh, oh, I was not expecting that to work right off the bat. Oh, wow. Six to seven up here. Now we've got some interesting, oh, it's gonna like poke out some of the pieces or something. Let's start with a little bit of that and a little bit of cloning. Just like that. Yeah, okay, it's gonna push. So, now we can do a couple smalls maybe. Just a couple. Maybe one more and then a big one. Oh, this might do it. That might be it. Oh no, we need one more. Right here. All right, we're lighting this place up with these green wires. Oh geez, oh, we're going up and then down. Oh, it's giving me something new. Wait, what's new, these ones? These giant pillars, whoa. What are those gonna be for? 
I do not know. All right, well, I do like how they kind of uh, give you some pl placed already so you're not like totally lost. That one, I, they didn't, <laughs> like the second, the third one, this one, it didn't feel like they gave me, in my opinion, enough for the third level because that's kind of the beginning still and it should be a little bit easier. Now these ones, the last couple haven't been too challenging, but challenging enough to stay challenging and remain fun. So let's finally get started here. So what are we doing? We're going up there. Okay. Undo. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to use those giant pillars for though. Oh no. I don't know. Let's try one. Whoops. Oh, undo. Let's just try a little big pillar. Just what are the, what's going to happen? Do they even get knocked down? Yeah, they do. So I have two options then it looks like. Oh, let's do that one. I think that one's a lot easier. Just put a bunch of pillars down. It gave me four. All right, and then we can do, uh... wait, I have to turn this though. Oh, those are already there? What? Oh. I can't, uh... Oh, these ones are already placed, but can I turn... I've got to be able to turn that, right? Like, really sharp. Oh, wrong way. Ah, uh, that might be ugly. Yeah. Let's get rid of uh, that one, or, or both of them, and put just one big one. Oh, oh, I have a big one and a medium big one. I didn't realize that. <gasps> that work? Yeah, that'll work. Just gotta do a little bit of that. Some of those might be spaced a little bit too far apart. Let's see from here. That's eight, or this is eight. Oh, now we're doing ramps and stuff. This is where I'm probably gonna start to suck. Uh, okay, so there's a marble up there. Oh, okay, no, I, I see, it's gonna release it. So yeah, we're just gonna, looks like that's good though. They're starting it off a little bit easy for the first one where they introduce a brand new like gameplay element. All right, what does that do? And the ball goes. That's it! That's it! That's all she wrote! Okay, what? Alright. Wow, this is so crazy though. Like how far VR has come where you can do something like this. Where setting up something like this in the real world, like to be able to do a trial and error uh, system for this is like impossible. And not in VR. So wait, it's gonna go. Okay, so it's giving me like three options now or something. Oh, I have to clear each of those uh, blockades. Okay, how should I do this to get in position? Let's get the clone tool. So we're gonna get that one down. That one down, let's try it out. Nice, I like it. And now we're gonna need to do, I think, a, a big one here. Oh man, the game is also just very polished. Like I haven't run into any bugginess whatsoever. Very intuitive controls, like I said. Let's try that. Okay, well that is very cool. I'm very impressed with the game, I have to say. Um, and I don't want to spoil all of the puzzles. I don't know if this is the only kind of puzzle room, but look how long it goes. It goes everywhere. Uh, so I think I'm gonna end the video here. I've done up to 10, or I'm at 10. 
And uh, like I said, it's a very fun puzzle game. That, like, like I showed you at the beginning, there is a sandbox where you're free to do and create whatever you want. So thank you so much, as always, for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you're new to my channel and are interested in VR or gaming in general, be sure to subscribe to my channel for all of my latest updates in the future. Thank you once again. Till next time. Peace.